All right, in this example, we're going to let go of the string pulling on Pythagoras' head and allow it to come to a stop. So because Pythagoras is already moving to the right from our previous scenario, uh, his displacement is going to continue. He's going to continue to slide to the right, but friction will still be acting on Pythagoras' head, and the tension is gone. And so we can visualize that based on that force, we are going to expect his head to come to a stop. Now, how do we figure out how much work is done? Well, just as before, the work done by normal and gravity is zero because they're perpendicular to the displacement. Now, all we have to account for is the work done by friction, which will be the force of friction, magnitude, times the magnitude of the displacement, times the cosine of the angle in between them. But like we saw before, these are 180 degrees apart. And the cosine of 180 is negative 1. So the work done by friction is negative FFK times delta X. Now, the net work in this case is the work done by friction alone because there's no other forces doing work on the object. So the net work is negative FFK times delta X. This negative net work means the head slows down and loses some kinetic energy. All right, in this final example, we're going to lift Pythagoras' head now at a constant speed with a tensional force. So we have tension pulling upward, gravity pulling downward, and the displacement is going to be in the positive y direction. I'm still going to call it delta x, but it's going in the upward direction. If you want to call it delta y, that's fine. So the work done by tension will be uh, the force of tension times the displacement times the cosine of the angle in between these two. And these two are parallel. So it's a cosine of 0, which is 1. So it's just Ft times delta x, positive. Now, what's gravity doing? Well, in this case, gravity is acting down. The displacement is up. So we have the force of gravity times the displacement times the cosine of 180, which we've seen is negative 1. So it's negative Fg times delta x. Now, as long as it's moving at a constant speed here, the net work is then the work done by tension plus the work done by gravity. And tension and gravity are the same from sum of forces y is 0. Ft minus Fg equals 0. So Ft equals Fg. So these two works, with these two forces being the same, should cancel out. So let's see. Ft times delta x plus a negative Fg times delta x. So we factor out the delta x, and we have Ft minus Fg times delta x. And again, since these are equal and opposite, this is 0. So 0 joules of work, meaning uh, we maintain a constant speed. And there's no kinetic energy increase. So in quick review, when you're doing the work on an object from multiple forces. Set it up, draw a free body diagram, figure out the displacement, draw that vector in, and then find the work done by all the individual forces and then sum them together to figure out the net work.